Hi guys, so I'm filming about my layup today and I was getting ready to film and I realized that I forgot to start filming for you guys and this is about because like I already have the plywood in here and I have the foam so I forgot to film the process I forgot to film the process of that for you but from now on I'm gonna be filming this so today uh, I picked up some cork road bed, some Atlas track, a lot of Atlas track. I got some ballast, and I have my scenic cement right here. This is all woodland scenics. Looks really nice. And today I'm gonna be laying down track. And I'm gonna film the process for you. And I might, I might not be. Uh, I'm gonna move my layout. I might move my layout into my basement because this is taking up a lot more room than I expected it to. And the basement's gonna have a lot more room, so I'll be able to like move around. Cause like in that area back there, I'm not really gonna be able to work back there because I can't reach. My arms aren't that long. So, yeah. And I'm also doing an unboxing with all this track. This is Atlas track. Yeah. Alright, All right, so here you can see that I have these three things of six piece Atlas Code 100 track. It's nine inches long. I have these two eight packs, three inches and six inches. And I've got these, these are waffers. They're like buffers for the end of the track. Those are nice. I like those. And then I have two right hand turnouts. These are really nice, I like these. And I have one left hand turnout. Um, using these to make like a switching yard type thing. So I'm just gonna clear off my layout so I can start unboxing. Just gonna have to remove this bot man. Easy. So it track really fast. I will be right back. Okay, so I made some space on my layout to get ready for the track. And now I'm gonna be unboxing it. So I'm gonna start with the nine inch straight track. These come with rail joiners. I have some extra rail joiners just in case. scissors right here. Oh god. This is taking longer than I thought. Here we have the second pack. Same thing. With the rail joiners. It comes with 12 rail joiners. 
they come together. Here is the rest of the chat. It's pretty chat. Uh, 18 pieces, which should be enough. And now we're moving on to this. The three inch straight track. I might not be needing this. No, I was just getting it just in case. You know, I wanted to make something bigger or if like I needed to um I just got these just in case so I thought I might need them. This also come with rail joiners. All of Atlas's track comes with rail joiners. I'm pretty sure. I was gonna get some flex track but I ended up not having enough money. But it's okay. Now we have the six inch straight track. Um I'm I'm not sure how I'm gonna be wearing this layout. Uh I wanna do it in DCC because DCC is just better. I like DCC because it has sound. And I was actually wrong on my Norfolk Southern locomotive. It doesn't have DCC equipped. I bought the wrong one. Well, I got the wrong one. But it's okay. I can just install a, a decoder and a speaker. It already has a soundboard. So I'm going to be doing that. Or I might just lay, I might just, um, have this layout on DCC. I mean, in DC. DC. Here, I have one of the, um, I have the left manual snap switch. Okay. This is just the manual one. Nothing special. It's a nice one. And... It comes with this extra piece of track. I'm only be gonna I'm only gonna be using one of these for the switching yard. Comes with some extra screws for this piece here. This is just to switch the track. But I'm gonna be leaving. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this off. Yeah, I'll just take this off. Looks fine. Just do it like this. Extra piece. So much trash. Okay, I have one of the right hand turnouts. This is gonna be a pretty long video. Not very good at editing. So I'm doing my best. Remove that part. This is a right hand turnout. Nice. And the rail joiners. Where'd the other ones go? I found them. And then... Did I throw them down? Oh, I'll find them after. Extra 
Philippines, Skills, and we have the second right turner, right hand turner. And on the rail joiners, and that extra piece. Now on to these. These just go at any track. Oh, what happened? What? Did they break? What happened? I just bought these and they didn't even come out of the package yet and they're broken. Shouldn't be too hard with some super glue. I think it's because when I opened it, I bent it. Yeah, it's okay. I can fix it. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's okay. I can just super glue them. Here we have the four. And... Oh, thank good. It's a good, not all of them are broken, only two. That's right. Shouldn't be too hard to fix it. All right, so here, I just have these broken ones, some Gorilla Glue, and some tweezers. This is what I'm gonna need. So now I'm gonna open this. And what I'm gonna do is, they're gonna go like this, in there. Come on. It's gonna go like that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put two little drops of super glue on each spot. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. And then I'm just gonna place it through. And if it if it stays there. Come on. Are you kidding me? Just did this a minute ago. There we go. There we go. Now I'm just gonna hold this down. Are you, oh my. Come on, there we go. It's good. Oh. Keep jinxing it. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this here for a couple minutes till the glue dries. Come on. I got some spray paint still on my hands from the plywood. Okay, uh, I'm going to do the other one off camera, and I'll be back on my layout. All right, guys, so I fixed these four, these two of this, and while I was doing that, I realized that I have a really big problem. Oh. Uh, I forgot to get curves for the loop and I don't have any more money left. I already spent all my money on this. It's like 200 something dollars and I'm gonna have to wait probably until Christmas because I don't have a job because I'm focusing on school and it's a really big problem right now that I don't have any curves. Uh, so I just have to do with this for now until 
I get some more money. And yeah, so I'm gonna start putting this track together. And it's gonna be a time lapse starting now. All right, so I have my train yard finished. This this track here, this is the main line on the loop. And then these are the tracks. And I came across another problem. I ran out of straight pieces of the nine inch straights. So all I have is the four six inch, six inch straights here. And I have three three inch straights, which is a big problem. But the I'm just gonna make a part two of track laying. This video is gonna be a part one. It's gonna be titled "Building the uh, Train Yard," and I'm gonna. Go back to the hobby shop. I'm gonna have to maybe get some more road, cork road there. And I'm gonna need to get some more nine inch straights and get some 18 inch radius track. So just right now, I'm gonna connect a piece of the Bachman EV track. I'm gonna connect like one of the um, re-railers because all I have right now is just a Bachman easy system thing, like a DC. So I'm gonna connect one of the re railers and the controller right here. And then there's a re railer. Where'd they go? Oh, here's a reward. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna connect this to the tr to the Atlas track. This might not work, but I hope it does. Uh, let's see. Okay, connects fine so far. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my Norfolk Sun and locomotive on here. And I'm just gonna test if all of this track works. Already too late to return it because I unpackaged all of it. But it's important to see if it works. So, have a locomotive on the track, and I'm gonna connect my Batman easy control thing controller. 
Oh, there's some of the left. Okay. So, let's hold this one. into the wall. Now to see if it works on all of the tracks. Okay. okay, so it runs really smooth all the way down the main line. Now we're gonna see if it works on the siding tracks. Some really nice lighting on that too. Look at that. Really nice. Alright, bring it all the way back. Switch the track. It's going into the first the first track now. Still running really smooth. All the way down. Okay, nice. Now on to the second track. In my opinion, Atlas makes the I mean uh what am I talking about? Uh Athen Genesis makes the best locomotives. That's just in my opinion though. They run really smooth, really detailed, but scale trains rivet cameras might be really nice. I haven't gotten any of those yet. All right, so this is track two. Still running really smooth all the way down. That is perfect. Now to test track three, final track. Nice. Okay, this is good. All the track is working so far in the rail yard. And I'm happy I'm pretty happy about that. Now the next I'm this is just gonna be a part one video. Um Part two is going to be laying the rest of the track. Um, I might be moving my layout into my basement because there's a, t a ton of more space down there. And it's going to be really good. Uh, I got, I'm not sure if I already said this, but I've had this coarse ballast from Woodland Scenics for a little while. I've finally gotten a chance to use it. And I have the medium ballast, which is really fine from Woodland Scenics. And all of this is just one color, all these rocks. But these come in like light gray and dark gray, which is realistic. It's really nice. And then part three, Actually, no, in part two, I'm gonna lead up to what, I, what I'm gonna do in part three. I'm going to be, I'll explain it in the next video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right guys, so it's a little bit later. Uh, I moved my layout. As you can see, out of there, so hard. What I need to do is, see this empty space? I need to use that, and I need to fill in this space. There's one on the other side here, too. So, I also changed, I changed the rail yard a little. Now it's sticking out a little more. It looks nice. Uh... Yeah, 
and this cork road bed. You can pick it up at pretty much any hobby shop. Let me see why you couldn't. And it's really easy. All you have to do is you just split it like this down the middle. And it has like a little embankment. Oh, you can see that. And how it goes. I'll explain this better in the next video. So what you do, you lay this down and then you use like cop glue and a gun and you use tacks and you just place this down and then you'll place the track on top and then cop that and then what you do is with the ballast you take it and you open this side here I haven't opened mine yet but you open this side and you just sprinkle it down the track don't use too much because you run out definitely run out and if you want to have some more variety you could even mix the two sizes and then the next step is you take a brush and go down the, tra the middle of the track and it'll push all the ballast off to the sides and then what you're going to use is wooden scenic scenic cement you might not have to use this this is just the one that i went with and then you can have any spray bottle i just bought this one you place it in there and then spray it down the track and then you wait for it to dry and then you can use any kind of track cleaner. Just read the instructions. And then you will take, uh, what is it? Here. You can use a track cleaner. This is just one that I have. And you run it down the track and it'll clean all the scenic cement off of the top of the rail. And then you'll have a ballasted track. Like I said, I'll explain it better in the next video. I just wanted to show you guys how I changed it and I moved it. Pretty nice. The next video will probably be coming out sometime a little bit after Christmas. Uh, because I don't have a job, like I said. I don't, like, have any money, so I need to save money to buy maybe some more road bed. Uh, definitely, I made, I, I made the, um, rail yard sorta. I like it. So, I have enough track for the other side of the loop. It's just five nine inches nine inch straights and then the 18 inch radius track around there and around there and yeah so that's pretty much it all right so here's the story so today well earlier in the in the earlier clips in the video you can see that this was completely full but now there's some missing and where is it so what happened was uh, I was playing with my little brother and what happened is I put, I, um, go on. I opened this part cause I knew it had that. And I pretended to like throw it on him like, cause I'm just stupid. And then he he thought it was real. So to make him believe it again, I took this top off, but I had no idea that this was open and the ceiling came off inside of the cap. So I pretended to throw it and it went all over him and all on the carpet. So I had to vacuum it and I put as much back in here as I can. 
So yeah, I wasn't really happy about that, but it's all right. So yeah, that's the video for today. Next video shouldn't come out in so long, maybe a day or two. It's gonna be the final re-upload of unboxing. Um, Cause I said in the description of one of my videos, uh, I said that I'll be doing re-uploads. I did a re-upload of the intermodal cars and I'm gonna be doing this again. The, um, what's it called, the flat car? With the trailer hitches and the two trailers. So that should be coming out in a day or two. And yeah, so that's a video for today. Oh God. Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute to talk to you about this locomotive. So in the unboxing video that I did for this, uh, I said that it comes equipped with DCC, but I was wrong. So I opened up the train. I took the shell off because I was curious. And I found out that it just has a DCC adapter connected to the soundboard. And so I'm going to be making a video probably coming out in early September, sometime around there, that is me installing DCC and a speaker into here and possibly wiring my layout in DCC. I don't know why I would install DCC and not wire my layout to DCC. But I'm gonna make sure it's DC compatible. But I think it's important that I have sound because that's just the best thing you can have in a locomotive. I love the sounds. But yeah, that's all for today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.